Hello, welcome. In this video, we're looking at simple interest. Specifically, we're going to find principal when we're given the time in years. So take a moment, read this problem, try it out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so here's the question. It says, how much principal must be deposited to earn $1,036 of simple interest in 10 years at a rate of 4.8%? round to the nearest cent, and omit your dollar sign in your answer. That's just a little feature I put on there for delta math. Okay, so how much principal? What, what formula are we going to use here? Well, we have this relationship. I, which is the interest, is equivalent to what? Principal times the rate of the interest times the time. And in this situation, what are we given? We're given $1,036 of simple interest. So that's the I value. Right, so this is I right here. I'm going to write this down. So 1,036, that's our interest. 10 years, that's our time, T. Right, so we're given time as well. So I'm going to put a 10 over here. Give myself some room. And the rate is 4.8%. Remember, 4.8% means per 100. So 4.8 out of 100. Divide by 100, you get 0 0.048. That's our rate of interest. So we'll write that down. We have 0 0.048. That's our interest rate. Let me move this 10 over and see if this works. Yeah, give myself some more room there. But what's missing, right? What's the, what is the piece that's missing? And that's the principle, right? We're trying to find the principle, and that's missing. So this is still right there. And essentially what we're doing is solving for P. Now to do that, you can multiply 0.048 by 10 and then divide that on both sides, or you can just restructure this equation. In other words, get P by itself. To do that, you have to divide by the product of R and T, whatever that is. In this case, it's easier to work out just because it's times 10, but I'm gonna write it this way. So I'm dividing by this whole product where a product means multiply. I'm going to do that on both sides of the equation. There. Now, on the right-hand side, this product is the same as this. So when they divide anything, two things you divide that are equal, that equals 1. And now if I scroll down, what does that mean? Well, we have just the principal now. And that equals 1,036 divided by 0.048 times 10. Right, that's what our principal is going to equal. Okay, now to solve this, be, be careful, right? Um, on the calculator here, let me clear this off. We have 1,036 divided by, make sure you put this product in parentheses because otherwise you would just be dividing by 0.048 and then multiplying that whole ratio by 10. In other words, it'll give you a different answer. So you want to make sure you enclose this product, 0.048 times 10 in parentheses, or you can do 0.048 times 10 first, find the answer, and then do 1,036 divided by that result. And that gives us the principal amount that we need. So here, that what does that mean? That just means that the principal is equal to that number, which I already forgot. 2158.33, 2158.33. So that's just saying if you had this much money in your account and you multiplied it by an interest rate of uh, 0.048 for 10 years, you would get this much simple interest. And you can test that out, let's do it. So you do that number, I already have it inputted, and we're just gonna reverse the process times um, 10 years times 0.048. Notice I multiply by time first and then principal and then the interest rate because you can do that in either order when you're multiplying. And then you can see 1,036, we get the correct interest. Now structurally speaking, it might help you to think about this formula in a general way. So let's just take a snapshot of this equation right here. What do we have? We have the principal, I'm putting the P on the left now. And what is this ratio? Well, it is the 1,036, that's the I value. So in general, principal equals I, don't write in yellow there, write in black, over 0.048, that's our rate. 
r, and then multiplied by 10, which is our time. So our general equation can be written like this, i over r times t, and that is our principle. That's what we're doing here, and that might save you a little bit of steps. I like to think about the original formula and then just manipulate it and mess around with it, but whatever works for you. All right, I hope that helped.